In PTC Creo 3.0, we've improved the user interface for creating dimensions. Now, when you select the dimension command and select your first reference, a preview of the dimension will be attached to the cursor. This allows you to place the dimension exactly where you want. As you select additional references using the control key, the preview of the dimension will update based on the selected references. The same approach can be used to quickly create common reference dimensions, where you select the first reference as the baseline, and then using the control key, select additional references, however many that you want. As you pick all these references, the ghost uh, preview of each of those dimensions gets created, and you can drag and place them exactly where you want on your screen. Certain dimension types also offer additional options that can be used during the dimension creation. So in the case of selecting an arc, for instance, you can choose whether you want to have uh, the arc dimension be shown as a diameter, as a radius, an angle included between the ends of the arc, or the arc length. This again is done during the dimension creation, so you can select exactly which dimension type you want and place it in the correct location. Sometimes the orientation of the dimension depends on, uh, can vary depending on the types of references that you've selected. So in this case, as I've selected the center of two arcs, or two circles, depending on where I place my mouse, I can choose uh, a particular dimension orientation. So I can get it the, the slanted distance between the two points. I can choose it as horizontal or vertical just by dragging. You also have an option of a right mouse button menu to control that explicitly.